Welcome back to my channel. It is Amanda. I'm here with a recent Mooncat polish purchase. They were doing, I think they do sales like at the new moon or something. I don't follow the moon cycle. I don't really know when the new moon happens or the whatever. They do sales at the moons, not like traditional sales. So they were, they were doing a sale and I had just watched Jess's video about the prehistoric collection and i thought well those oh sorry i'm wearing this hopefully help my ridiculous sound because i'm filming my phone now because my phone has better quality than my dslr camera <laughs> but uh the sound is suspect i just hit the this ridiculous looking lapel mic i had to buy a few of the polishes because i was like oh those seem pretty gorgeous so I'm going to show you those polishes. Let's get to it. These are all from the prehistoric, oh, pretty prehistoric collection. The first polish is called Molten Lava, and it is described a matte coral orange lacquer jam-packed with color shifting red to coral to orange, ultra-fine flakies, and reflective glitter. This covers in three coats. It does dry matte. I think all of these dry fairly matte. I think that was like one of the features of this collection is they dry matte because when you mattify a flaky, oh my word, it changes everything. Um, I didn't actually notice the reflective glitter in this until I'm reading it now. So I didn't get a flash picture capturing the reflective glitter, but oh my gosh, it's, <laughs> it's beautiful. Uh, these are all kind of a jellyish type of formula so they do need like three coats to be as opaque and as flaky filled as possible but the formulas are very nice and they're not thick or goopy or like difficult to work with you don't feel like you're just loading product onto your nails or they don't feel heavy or anything like that this is gorgeous um i love it matte but i also love this with a shiny top coat I don't know which I like better. Um, I don't typically wear polish with a matte top coat, which is ridiculous because once you mattify a flaky, it's like, this is incredible. But I feel like for durability, I don't know why that is ever a concern of mine because nothing lasts on me ever. I should just mattify things and be happy. I feel like a shiny top coat is more durable. And I don't know if that's in my head or if there's like a chemistry aspect to that. But in my mind, a shiny top coat is more durable. I am fairly certain that I took pictures of these as they dry matte. And then um, I for sure added a shiny top coat for a swatch. So this is three coats of molten lava. The next polish is called Tectonic Shift. And... This is described as a matte seafoam green lacquer jam-packed with color shifting yellow to orange to pink ultra fine flakies. This one covers in two coats. I think in the picture you can still see a little bit of visible nail line. You cannot really see that in person. Um, and I don't know why that picks up on camera, but I, I, I would wear this in two coats. And this, I hope I remembered to take a video of this because one picture is not enough multiple pictures are not enough you need to see this polish in action it is mesmerizing it looks green and pink and yellow and orange and in maybe like even a little bit purple and so i don't it's the most shifty beautiful polish incredible absolutely incredible it looks amazing matte it looks amazing with a shiny top coat i don't know which way i prefer it it is gorgeous. It covers in two coats, and that is Tectonic Shift. The next polish is called Tyrannosaurus Hex, and this is a matte green lacquer filled with green multi-chrome flakies and jam-packed with reflective glitter. Again, I didn't, I didn't notice. That. Are they, do they mean reflective glitter like in a different way? Anyway. This one covers in three coats. It's wearable in two coats. I, I just preferred more flakies for the, the third coat. That's typically how I like to wear jellies. You know, there are some exceptions, of course, but 
I typically like to do three coats for a jelly flaky filled polish because you just get all of those all of those flakies on on your nails this is gorgeous you know I love a green and I love a flaky and this is the best of both worlds uh, the formula is great and it covers in three coats so that's Tyrannosaurus Hex And then the last polish is called Velociraptor, and this is a matte dark teal lacquer filled with color shifting orange to purple iridescent flakies and reflective glitter. This one is a three coat polish. I feel like it was still a little bit uneven in two coats, so I did definitely want to add the third. In the bottle, this looks so different <laughs> than it looks on your nails, depending on how the bottle is sitting in certain lighting. It is incredibly shifty in low lighting and direct light and bright light and indirect light. It looks different. Whatever light source that you, you have, it's very beautiful. And uh, again, the formula is nice. Three coat coverage for full opacity and all of those flakies that you're going to want on your nails. And that is Velociraptor. Have you guys purchased anything from Moon Cat lately? I see that they also have like a mermaid collection that just released that looks beautiful. There's one called Catfished that looks like the most gorgeous wa shiny watercolor I've ever seen in my life. And then Merkitten. And you know what I also like about Moon Cat? They have a variety of nail links and hand types on their website because they have like the young, like long, like instagram nails i don't know what else you know i don't know i i personally don't know anyone who wears nails this long in person i don't think a bunch of grubby midwest people okay we, we get our hands in the dirt there's no we can't have long nails and then they also have shorter nails and then they also have what i would say very short nails and more mature hands and i think that's very nice because sometimes i look at my hands i'm like man i have old lady hands because I don't moisturize my hands like I should. You know how long I've been doing nail polish and putting it on the internet? 14 years or something? I don't, that can't be right. At least a decade, but I mean, longer than that. You'd think I would oil my cuticles and moisturize my hands regularly, but I don't because I'm lazy. Anyway, I appreciate, and I don't mean that these people don't moisturize their hands. I, I, this has gone awry. All I'm saying is I appreciate the different hand models they're putting on because we don't all have the same hands anyway let me know if you've purchased anything from moon cat lately thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you in my next video